Camera Camera. rolling. BTS? Yep. Sound? Draw it out. All right, long wave, scene 3A, take one, roll one. Okay, Owen, you ready? Yep. Action. Three more bits to do, three more scenes. The action's over there, mate. They're talking about pebbles. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think the white ones. What do you, Alex? No, Alex, because Alex is there. Yeah, it's, you're the pebble man. It's done. <laughs> What are you thinking of everything so far? Um, I think I think we seem like a well-oiled machine. We're we're, we're working hard, and uh, you know everything's running to plan so far. So so far so good. Four B take one. Okay, and action. What is long wave about? Um, it's about a young man trying to find himself in a secluded area. He has these emotional vices that's, that's held him down over the last few years. A young man who has recently lost his father and uh, he goes to the lakes to try to come to terms with what's happened. So he, so he comes away uh, to the place where they used to have you know, fond memories of him you know, fishing with his father. There's only when he gets away he realises the issue is that he wants to speak to his father again who he deeply misses to tell him about his new partner. Uh, I'm up the lake. Louis, the main character, seems to not get the chance to tell his father a really important secret um, that he really wanted to share with him. Dad, there's, there's something. He's in a relationship and he never got to tell him about his true sexuality. Not that that would, you know, really be too much of a problem, but it's, it's just leaving anything un, like unclosed. Well, there's someone I wish you could meet. Somehow, he's managed to communicate with his dad, and through this, this chance encounter... Kind of reveals, reveals to, to his dad the secret that he wanted to tell him, but it isn't really about that. It's more just the fact of coming to terms with losing him. Because at the end, he, he, he never really expressly tells his dad what's going on. His, his dad just tells him it's okay. So it, I think it's more just in his, in his mind, he's, he's, he's come to terms with losing him. I'm sure a lot of people you know, the, who have the, that experience can, can relate to that on many levels and just wish they had that one last chance to, to say that important thing to their, to their loved ones. What's happened? 
So the weather is really, really shit. Really rainy, really windy, and we don't think we'll, our gazebo will stay up, which means our equipment won't stay dry. So we put it off an hour because we think we've got time. I'm just going to hope for the best. Action! Thoughts for the camera? Yes. No seat belt! Okay, here we go, Dave. Like it, like it, like it. Enjoyed that. I think I drove the scene really well. So, yeah, you were the driving force, mate. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Went eating for years. I thought it was hilarious. Well, they did a little bit though, didn't they? Oh, give me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Dad, there's there's something. What is it? Well, there's someone I wish you could meet. <sighs> What's this shot that we're doing now about? Uh, it's, this, it's this scene okay, let's where. Let's reset, come on. Have <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you got the back, get to, back work. to work? <laughs> yeah, Joe, that's it. Dad? Well, there's something I wanted to ask you. Far away? What is it? How did you meet Mum? <laughs> I must have told you before, surely. What did I enjoy? Well,. <laughs> Quite enjoyed uh, filming in the car. That was that was good. That was fun. Mainly because I got to sit down for at least a good half an hour. I enjoyed filming at night because I've never actually done that before. So it was nice to experience what it's actually going to be like in the professional world. Owen, uh, who plays Louis, is brilliant as well. So that's easy, easy to get along with. I enjoyed watching Owen. He was pretty good. Uh, our actor Owen, he's, he's great. <laughs> uh, I didn't notice actually. I was. I... <laughs> oh, we had dominoes. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah and the wolf story. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll run a Hannah. She's really gullible. I had this idea that I would go off and howl like a wolf on the other side of the lake. <laughs> Really, if she had any doubts before that there were wolves as well, that really convinced her. And uh, she actually, she actually texted her, she te she texted her mum, and her mum texts back <laughs> telling her to stay in the van. <laughs> so you can tell where she gets it from. <laughs> the difficult things. Where should I start? The lighting. The fact that I'm getting a phone call right now, which is distracting me, is probably Charlie. It's the location and shoot we decided we wanted nighttime shooting, which, as we found, is very, very difficult. The production's really hard because of all the planes. Okay, action! We're to the plane. Okay. But, you know. The planes. Oh my god. I actually hate planes, and I wish planes would fall out of the sky. The storm that we had, because it was really cold. The fucking clouds, and the fucking, you know, sun coming in and out, and the rain. And it's, I mean, this isn't a controlled environment, it's constantly changing. The worst was maybe the first night. Maybe the first night was the worst. We, we didn't really come to terms of how dark it was going to be in the place. We had recce's before, but because of the storm that was coming in and, and the wind and the rain and the cold, we just all weren't prepared. But then even paying for everything, money is such a big thing and you realise that everything costs so much. Even just to pay for food, for props, 
you forget about all the batteries you need or lying, it's just a bit of a palaver. Take one. Adam. I love you. Right, so there's a pepperoni and a tomato and cheese. Cool. <laughs> yeah, where's the rest? Tomato and cheese and pepperoni. I was going to ask, and but I could be bothered. So can you tell us what's going on right now? Uh, we're just getting set up for the final scene of the film. And, uh, and then that's going to be... That's going to be yes for today. What happens in the final scene? It's where uh, Louis packing his car up, ready to go home, having resolved uh, the issue in his life where he feels like his father now has an understanding of um, who he is as a person and Louis can now move on and uh, continue his relationship with Adam uh, with a peace of mind knowing that he's got his father's blessing. Adam. That's a rap. Oh. 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 Right, we we, we got to do a little or orchestrated rap shot. Oh. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The story developed from the weirdest thing where it was a radio uh, predicting the future, and suddenly we just kept adding elements. We added. Uh, being about grief, uh, which I guess everyone has dealt with. And it's something that resonates with a lot of people, the, the idea of losing a loved one and having to share a special, or having that one last chance to, to share that message with that, that person. I think it's, uh, it's an opportunity that, uh, that couldn't be missed, really. But then we were trying to make it unconventional, so the whole same-sex partnership came up. Well, I always hear about stories of people trying to come out gay to either their parents or just someone that's close to them. But you never really see films that show it. I mean, I've, I've, I've gone through things where, where, where I've had to, you know, tell things to my parents that I never wanted to tell them. And it was tough. What does long wave mean to me? It means the world to me. Because without it, I can't graduate. <laughs> and, you know, it means a lot to me to try and, you know, realise a childhood dream of making my own film, you know, so early on in my, in my career before it's even started, really. Action! Well, when I uh, read the breakdown, uh, it was uh, pretty much a one-hander or, or a two-hander with uh, a radio, and uh, it seemed like quite a, quite a challenge to try and portray these, these sort of built-up, pent-up emotions. Like, seeing my vision come to life is great especially with uh, our actor Owen, he's, he's great. He's everything I wanted the actor to be. Um, the emotion he gets, with, especially with the shots, is, is, is perfect. We came up with the idea of Longwave in the autumn of 2016, developing it from an initial story about a radio that predicts the future. It turned into an emotional coming out drama about how a young man deals with the loss of his father. After researching these issues, a script was written and our main character, Louis, was given a voice. Hello? Sam. After finding the perfect location, we shot a crowdfunding video on the actual set to raise money for our film. Long wait. This is our short film about Louis and his recently deceased father. With money now coming in, we were able to start the production of the film and hold rehearsals for our brilliant actor, Owen, who we cast for the role of Louis. Adam. I love you. With the lines learnt and storyboarding done, 
We spent three days and three nights filming Long Wave, braving the cold, the wind, and Storm Doris. There was not much rest when we finished on set as we were straight back in the studio with our voice actor Jack filming the role of Louis' dad. It's okay, son. Then it was a matter of weeks to edit the film, cutting it together, adding music and colour grading it before the final deadline. Written, filmed and edited, Long Wave is finally finished. Ah! <laughs> This is what making a movie is all about. I thought that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thanks.